called in a truck. Well, I'm back. Road Rant, so in Star Wars, specifically the Clone Wars, Season 7, Episode 6, Deal or No Deal, Howie Mandel, Anybody. Last week, we had an episode that I absolutely hammered into the ever-loving ground. It was an episode I felt like went no nowhere, and for full clarification before we start my review, I review every episode singular. I don't give a shit what kind of arc it is part of, okay? Just like I would any episodic television show or any, in other words, The Shield has stories that go all the way through the season, not Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., all the way through the season, and then they got different elements in the season that happens. I, I will review it always the same. And in case you're wondering, why are you clarifying? Look, I hammered last week's episode, and I said the Star Wars logo lovers, and a logo lover is defined by myself as a Star Wars fan that sees the Star Wars logo and automatically is going to love it no matter how much of a piece of dog shit it may end up being. Okay, and Dave Filoni being behind it does not circumvent something possibly being a piece of dog shit. I hated last week's episode. I gave it a 2 out of 10. The previous week, the last episode of the Bad Batch arc, I gave a 10 out of 10. Okay, so I don't hate just to hate. The Bad Batch, uh, I would say on average, they probably average like an 8.75 across four episodes, right? But I still reviewed them as individual episodes. I do care about that. Okay, so... Off with the story, we have uh, Trace, Ahsoka, having some dialogue with each other. Rafa walks in, says, we got a job. Uh, Trace, I need you to fly your ship called the Silver Angel. One of the worst names in the history of bad names, but I will give them credit. They fully acknowledge that. There is some good dialogue between the three of them, okay? And basically what, what has happened is we find out that there is a job that they're going on, and they're heading to Kessel. Oh, that's right. Solo a Star Wars story, anybody. Uh, look, I got to admit, I like seeing Kessel come back into a story. Um, I like the imagery coming in uh, to the planet where you see those clouds. There's still one of the best shots of Solo, maybe the best shot, is the image of that Star Destroyer coming through the clouds. Okay, you see it in the trailer as well. Saw something very reminiscent of that, and it was cool. As I've said through this whole season, the animation and the score is on point. Okay? Uh, they get loaded up with spice. They hit hyperspace. And all of a sudden, Ahsoka has moral dilemmas kick in. She's like, but spice can be used to make blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And there's feuding going on between Rafa and Ahsoka. Rafa doesn't really trust Ahsoka. She doesn't know her. And point of fact, she really doesn't like Ahsoka. Okay. Uh, so, Trace goes and does something rather crazy. She dumps out all the spice. Okay. As they're on their way to the Pike Syndicate. Also made live action debut in Solo A Star Wars Story. And uh, so, of course, they get there and they come out and they're like, oh shit, uh, no spice, but Ahsoka, you will let us go after you give us your the credits. A uh, little Jedi mind trick action. They make it back on board the Silver Angel. Oh, terrible. Um, and they go to fly off, except. They are caught in a tractor beam, and there are ships around them, surrounding them, and that is where the episode uh, ends. Okay? Now, was this episode in a vacuum, singular episode, better than last week's? Yeah, it was. I did find it more entertaining. They got the hell up out of where they was at last time. They actually got in a ship. They actually went somewhere that was intriguing. Okay? Going back to Kessel. That was cool, all right? Um, and I liked some of the imagery there, right? Um, however, everybody's pointing out, this is Ahsoka's walkabout. I don't give a shit about that. This is, once again, in my opinion, a filler episode, just like last week's. And this entire arc looks like it's going to be filler, okay? In other words, 
Ahsoka's story has not progressed. She's back. It's so good to see her back. She's one of my favorite characters. But I haven't seen the progression in story through two episodes with her back. Okay? There is such a thing as a, a, a show becoming stagnant. The problem with all of this, you may be wondering, these episodes in a 22 to 23 episode season, you can get past it. But I'm harder on this because we only have 12 episodes. There's no way in hell we should have filler episodes during a 12 episode season. We just shouldn't. Okay? The the story should be pushing forward. Okay? This is a side adventure story. That's all it is. It's a side adventure in a 12 episode um uh, you know, season. That's the final season, no less, okay? And look, do I expect there to be some great episodes coming? Yeah, I think there's going to be some, just like that monumental episode that was the last episode of, you know, where Echo joins the Bad Batch, great. Monumentally historic. It was one of my top five episodes of the Clone Wars ever. I give this episode a five out of ten. It was average. It was okay. Quote, unquote, okay. Almost all of that is the fact that there is no story progression. I don't know how you watch this, and I'll get some some dude come through the comments. You don't understand how story arcs work. You've got to be damn joking, okay? Just go ahead, leave your, leave your dislike, and carry your ass right on out, okay? Uh, because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. All right? Shit. I ran a horror website for 10 goddamn years doing reviews. I don't want to hear that shit. Uh, so, this is a filler episode. Okay? There has to be a push forward. This is stagnant. We're going to have another episode after this one fucking with these pikes. Okay? And look, I like the pikes. I think it's it's interesting that the pikes are involved if this was a bigger season. But we're going to have to have something monumental to find out what their involvement is for for this to help. It still ain't going to help this episode, but it could help the next episode. Watch out for Darth Maul. Okay, because eventually Darth Maul does get involved with the Pikes. Little fellow that told me I don't know Star Wars. Uh, Darth Maul does... <laughs> I'm salty over last week's review. <laughs> I am. I am. Uh, I'm used to getting like 95% likes, and I got like ratioed to hell on that review, and I don't give a fuck. But it doesn't mean I'm not a little ornery right now because of it. Because it was valid. I thought it was valid. I hammered the shit out of the episode. All right? This is better. But it's still got it's it's still filler to me, and I'm still counting off for that. Okay, um, I like Trace and Rafa a little more than I did, but I still don't feel their point of the story. I don't. Why introduce new characters? And maybe we'll find out. But through two episodes, what is the point of these two characters? being introduced in this story okay peace i'm out till next time